Hello everyone, today is week 4 of my weekly portrait and I will be using the neutral tint color by Core. It's a watercolor that's a little bit different than the neutral tint by Winter and Newton that I tried last time. And I hope that by using it to do a monochromatic portrait, you and I will be able to see more what it looks like. I already had some poured into a half pan uh, quite a while ago and I just stuck a little piece of magnet tape underneath the half pan so that it could stick onto the uh, tin that I'm using. It's the cover of a core watercolor box, which is pretty convenient. Today's portrait is of Gene Kelly, who's one of my favorite actors from the 1940s and 1950s mostly and he played in a bunch of musicals. He's a great dancer and singer. And my favorite musical, of course, is Sing in the Rain, where he plays alongside Debbie Reynolds and Donald O'Connor. So once again, I started with a very, very light wash of the neutral tint, just to establish the values and where everything is. I didn't want to go too dark right away, just so that I could uh, fix mistakes if I made some. Now, right away, as I kept on adding water to my palette, I could see the pigment separating. And you can see that there's an area where it's, um, it's quite orange. The neutral tint by Core has three pigments, the PY42, the PR122, and the PB15 column 3. I'm not sure how you pronounce that one, but it's basically a fellow blue. So basically, some kind of yellow ochre or sienna, a quinacridone magenta, and a phthalo blue. And that's the colors that make the neutral tint by Core. On the other hand, the neutral tint by Winter and Newton is made with three pigments as well. The PB15, PBK6, and PV19. So another phthalo blue, a lamp black, and a quinacridone rose. So right away, with those two differences in pigments, you can tell that one will be cooler and one will be warmer. And this is what I found out when I used a core neutral tint. It's much warmer than the Winsor & Newton neutral tint, which has a more of a blue undertone. And now that I get to use the core neutral tint by itself for a whole painting, I really enjoyed the color of it. Um, it's warmer. It, it feels like I can do a nice black and white painting with it. And the neutral tint by Winter Newton that has a cooler undertone um, makes it look more like a black and white movie. I'm not sure if it's not, the black is not as dark, I think. Or maybe I should say it's not as deep. It's hard for me to explain. But in the end, I'll show you the two portraits side by side so that you can see what I'm trying to say here. Now, there's something that I noticed. And I've used Core watercolors before and I really like them. I use them mixed with other brands and you've seen me use them uh, mostly for my other portraits, the color portraits that I've done in the past. And the colors are really beautiful. And I did see a video with somebody trying out the core watercolors for the first time and uh, they tried the watercolors on their own, not mi mixing them with other brands. And uh, that person didn't really like it, uh, saying that it didn't flow very well on the paper. And now that I've used this one on its own, I kind of agree. You can work around it, but it feels like I had a harder time making the paint spread on the paper and i'm using arch watercolor just like the previous painting that i did uh, with the uh, neutral tint by once or newton i'm not sure if it's just in my head or not but i'm going to continue using this little sketchbook with different brands and see see how it goes but i really like this color so 
if I'm having a tough time with this brand, I might try to find a neutral tint by another brand. It seems to me like maybe the one by Daniel Smith might be a warm one as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I might try that one too. But yeah, it was it was just not flowing as well as other brands of watercolors. I hope this makes sense. So to give you an example, if I put some paint on the paper and I rinse my brush, load it with water and put it on the paint to spread it a bit more to soften it so it wouldn't have hard edges, uh, it felt like it was already dry or it wouldn't just spread as, as much as with other brands. So that's the experience that I had with the core watercolor for this painting. Now both neutral tint colors by Windsor and Newton and Core are pretty staining so make sure you're careful because it's pretty hard to remove the color for both of them. So take it easy, don't go too fast and don't make mistakes because even using Arsh watercolor paper uh, which is uh, pretty resilient and you can easily remove colors usually when it's a staining color it's much harder and this one is one of them. Now for the painting itself, I like the original soft look that I had, but um, I did need to add more details because I wanted it to look more like Gene Kelly. And the photo had a stronger contrast, so I did add darker, more saturated areas of paint. And I'm very happy with the result. It's not a perfect painting and it doesn't look 100% like the photo. But you can tell who it is, if you know Gene Kelly, of course. <laughs> and I'm glad that I was able to stay loose. And when I tried to um, sculpt the features of his face, I was able to just add on some little, what I call little blobs of, of paint. They're not really blobs because they're so diluted, but just little uh, splashes of paint here and there without defining the features too much just giving an impression of them i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but i wanted it to be really loose but make it look like what it's supposed to look like so put my brush on the paper but not necessarily blending the paint just putting marks on the paper basically where there are shadows to as i build them up to define the features more and more. I hope it makes sense. It's hard for me to explain. Anyway, I was happy with the result. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes for this little study and uh, it was a lot of fun and I'm gonna try to do another one next time with Payne's Gray just to see the difference with the neutral tints. So, like I said again, at the end of this video, I'm going to put the two neutral tint portraits side by side so that you can see what they look like and see the difference. I hope you liked this little video. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.